quick little story time to anyone feeling alone. See, loneliness, feeling alone is actually an illusion. It's taught to you. You're never really alone. And the reality of it is there are people out there who think like you, who, who, who feel as intensely as you do in terms of anything really. In terms of crystals, in terms of meditation, in terms of yoga, because that's the sh- that's that's what I'm into, right? So let me start off. Like I went to this art exhibition, this um, fashion exhibition, right? I wasn't expecting nothing. I really wasn't expecting to meet nobody. I wasn't trying to meet anyone. I was just doing my own thing. I was just, you know, let's see where this goes, right? I was really trying to find some crystals, which I did find, right? So. I come across this lady in this crystal shop all the way in the end of the stall, right? This lady got her crystals and she, he, her husband is like right there and they're just selling crystals, right? So I just, after all these shops, I go to the last shop, last shop, right? I talk to this lady and we just click. We just click. Like, not on some sense like I'm talking and, and we're vibing and it's all good. No, we are actually having a meaningful conversation like we are actually talking about something we both are interested in crystals <laughs> and she was so friendly she was so open about it she was so non-judgmental that a person like uh, that a person my age would start wandering with crystals she was she was probably like exposed to that type of lifestyle and people who are interested in that more than people in my own house you know that's how that, that's the reality right so after talking I, I i choose to buy a crystal and all and you know what happens my mom comes around and my mom literally like talks to that lady and says like what is this crystal for like you know my mom is actually like pretty narcissistic and pretty toxic but i can't blame her because that's the way um she kind of had to deal with many of her life issues so and and that's that's the that's what happens to most people when they become toxic and narcissistic they actually are forced to face many of their demons but they don't choose to face them and they don't choose to better themselves thereby they actually allow these demonic entities to possess them to the point where they aren't themselves and they kind of our body snatched they're not really operating off a conscious um integrity to be specific right so basically i go to this lady right we're talking and then my mom comes along and she's the one who has the money at this point to buy this crystal because i i don't really i've never really worked and and you get sorted out right so just whatever my mom starts talking to her and this lady straight up after like what 10 minutes of talking to me or five minutes of talking to me she straight up says this boy this 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 guy will do it whatever it is he'll do it he's straight on he has his intelligence on point and i i I kid you not my mom couldn't even feel that same energy about me with herself she couldn't with her own son, she couldn't feel that, like, that, 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 she couldn't sense that, that, um, that excellence I have built up in my mind, that mind power that I have, the, the, the conscious will I have over everything that I do and say, because I was really speaking my truth when I was talking about these crystals. I was literally just, like, pointing out different crystals, and she was just like, whoa, whoa, whoa. And it was just, it was a, gradual conversation Tara can you stop can you stop Tara please so basically my mom comes and she's just like this lady is literally telling my mom no matter what it is he'll do it I'm pretty sure he has every every possibility and he has every capacity to do it he is very 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 capable and probably overqualified than even me when I'm when when it comes to crystals, because I was literally pointing out random crystals and I was just telling the names like is this citrine, is this amethyst, is this agate, is this oh, is this red coral? And she was just you know like damn bro, <laughs> she was like whoa you got a lot of knowledge, but she didn't tell me that initially, 
But well, as my mom came around, she, my mom is always skeptical about these crystals and energy and all this stuff. She, she simply is a skeptic. She's never believed in it. And her third eye is probably very decalcified. She doesn't know what's going on. Point blank period. So, <laughs> so when I was talking to this lady, I was actually vibing on a whole new level, like on, on some friendly, friendly and open uh, oneness friendly type energy right and my mom was sitting here she was just like huh, huh, huh. yeah I, I you, it sounds all good but I don't think it's really true that's literally the face and that's the vibe she was giving off at that moment she was like hmm yeah yeah sure crystal's nice nice okay but I love my mom because she still bought me it though she doesn't really believe in this stuff or have faith that this stuff is really real she doesn't really she's not ener energetically in tune as much as I am but still, I could literally feel that this lady had more confidence in me than my own mother at that point. Though my mother probably loves me, faint word, she probably has a responsibility over me more than her. But that lady was straight up telling my mom, yo, this kid is out of this planet. He knows what he's talking about. He'll do whatever he needs to do. Don't worry about it don't worry about money don't worry about nothing and my mom was simply there like mm, yeah okay yeah <laughs> it was so it was so ridiculously weird that a random um lady and she was a mother she had a son of 16 years i think yeah a random lady can actually feel my positive energy more than my own mother you know because i'm always like about that um not only raising your frequency, but cultivating the energy. Of course, I do make mistakes and I do go out, go do things that mess me up. But essentially, I'm saying that I'm always about cultivating that, that healing, positive energy and raising the consciousness above to actually reach my crown, my, my God, my, my, my um, divinity. So I can actually understand energy and crystals that I can walk into a room and and feel the vibe you know I, I can talk to a person and almost feel whether they're good for me or not because sometimes you got people who talk like you're so, they, they, they talk so nicely but the minute you turn your back around they'll stab you with a knife that's what happened with my mom dad and sister to some extent they threw me in a rehab they they put me on drugs like drugs like medic medication and shit they, 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 they made me do a lot of things that I didn't want to do and they actually talked me down and they actually like really just tried, tried to shut me up in every possible way when I started like you know getting into this way of lifestyle right this virtuous way of lifestyle and it was pretty difficult and I could just sense that this lady was pretty like open like you know and at that moment, I, I, I'm making this video to explain that you never know who is literally going to gonna make you feel like you're not alone. And some people around you may literally be, ne may, may, uh, they may not be themselves, you know, they're not open to themselves. They're not open to what you like and you may feel alone, you may feel isolated and it's not wrong to feel that way, but it is wrong to think that that's the, that's the only reality you are going to face in life. I found that out like, damn, bro. I found a lot of cute chicks as well. I found a lot of beautiful women in traditional. There's something that um, a girl wearing traditional clothing, specifically like Indian attire, certain, not all, but certain. And if she looks good, damn, that's like a whole different turn on for me. Like I can, I can, I can probably not resist looking at you. But if you were going to wear like some shorts and like some bikini shit, I could, I could literally turn away and not look at you at all. Point blank period. Because that's not attractive to me. Unless like we're at a beach or someplace. But like now you got girls literally wearing shorts, like underwear, shorts, all the all, all around the world but you know do as you do but i can sense energy and i can sense that you're actually wanting attention when you wear that shit whereas when you're wearing a traditional clothing you're just vibing on a different type of um, style a different type of swag and if you if you can actually pull it off and look good 
you got me bro you got me that's what happened in the, in the art exhibition i found a lot of cute chicks some were genuinely cute some were ridiculously face painted and shit what can you do right we're living in this type of world <laughs> it's like you don't need that much face your face ain't a canvas bro your face ain't a canvas so yeah moral of the story is don't feel alone don't close off all doors if you have opportunity go out go out even if you're spiritual trust that things are always gonna go well don't be the person to lock yourself at home and because i've done it and i've also done the opposite of constantly going out when friends call and there's a pro and a con to both when you go out, expect yourself to be out of your comfort zone. Expect that. Expect it. Know that you're going to be out of your comfort zone. You're going to be pushed out of your comfort zone. And when you're at home, you're going to be completely in your comfort zone, right? So you can do whatever you want. You're all relaxed. You don't have any problems. Usually, if you're not around toxic family members. But when you go out, expect to have a new experience. And it's not always difficult, man. You just got to find the right places to be if you like art go to an art place if you like if you like uh aeroplanes go to a place where airplanes are the shit if you like cooking like honest to god if you really like cooking go to a place where cooking is explored deeply and cherished and people love cooking there so now you are automatically gonna resonate your your frequency is gonna resonate right if you like kickboxing, if you like gymming, find people who like gymming too and vibe with them. That's all that it is. You mess yourself up by thinking that no one really likes it. And I'm being honest, people who are spiritual, there's a very small amount of people who are spiritual. But everyone has that curiosity to what spirituality might be. So you got that going. So you can always not convert that's the most stupid word i've ever heard but that's what people think when i'm like hey check out my crystals they're like whoa this guy's trying to convert me i'm like shut up bro i'm trying to teach you the science of the science of love <laughs> whatever right so essentially be open be open you never know who you might bump into and you need to cut off people who don't resonate with you to even be able to vibe with Cut off in a sense, you need to know where to stop the conversation and where to say the right things in order to get the things done for you. Because you can't always expect to be at war with people around you and expect things to go well if you're still around them. You get what I mean? You can leave and now you won't have to be bothered about them. You don't have to call them nothing, right? That's that, that's that's reality. You're not going to call them every 24 every. 20 minutes right so when you're around people know what you can give and know what you have to take from that and be be don't don't just be like i'm gonna give you all the love in the world and you can just stab me in the back with your words don't be an idiot because there are people who don't really know um who aren't really conscious of the words they speak so they may actually say some shit like yeah that's not possible it's like you say you have a super cool idea and you're just like yeah, I want to I wanna do this. like, And they're just like, yeah, stop it. That's not possible. That's someone you need to just shut up around. Point blank period. You need to shut up. Don't even open your mouth. Say you want to buy a house in a rich place where it costs a lot and you have a beach and it's all beautiful. This person, by telling this person who doesn't even believe in themselves, you are not even going to manifest that like ever. Because you're literally retarding the manifestation. Get me when I say this. Because it adds weight, right? If someone's thinking that it's not possible, it adds this negative type of weight to the very idea that you have come up with. So it's like, I want to build a house that is like super big and has a lot of gold and silver around it, whatever, right? And then you tell this idea to this person, this person's like, what? That's so, that's, why would you do that? What, 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 what? Density. It's density, 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 density. Now it ain't going to manifest the same way it would or as fast as it would if you just work towards actually making the money and getting it done, which is possible. See what I mean? It's possible. It's not not possible. But these people think it's impossible because in their reality, they haven't even, they haven't even, 
conceptualized the fact that they can build a house with gold and silver abundantly. You know what I mean? That's huge. So get it. Where was I? Yeah. Surround yourself with people who really do the things you do and vibe with you. And, you know, then you'll just don't. <sighs> wow. Just don't overthink shit when it comes to negative energy and stuff like that. You never know who you're going to meet. You just have to really dive deep and actually sometimes really get out of your goddamn comfort zone. This wall, this cube, is actually a, a comfort zone. And comfort is, is, is a luxury that isn't really a luxury, man. To be honest, comfort kills your life, literally. You being comfortable with one crore is what's stopping you from making 50 crores, potentially. You know what I mean? So it's like you being comfortable with mediocrity, with being a mediocre person is killing your ability to 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 go beyond the 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 mediocre person's mind which is basically like most of society right no one becomes a billionaire through a goddamn lottery and even if they do become a billionaire through the lottery it's probably not even going to last very long right a billionaire has that mindset it's all about the mind the mind expresses itself through words, through thoughts, through symbols. But it is, it is, a, it is essentially a computer. It is, it is your little biatch that you gotta really tune in and enhance and allow to really become better than it was yesterday. Thank you for watching all of my videos. Like, comment, smash that subscribe button, and peace. Thank you for watching all of my videos. This is Sharv Sharu signing off. I'm a yogi and I'm here to spread divinity.